My name is Sal Petrocito and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator. Established a little over four years ago, the NHVR is working hard to ensure that everything that moves on our network above four and a half tonne is done in a safe and efficient manner. Ensuring that we reduce the road toll on our networks, ensuring that we can improve the productivity of what moves on our network is fundamental to the core principles of the NHVR. My team and I are here to ensure that this industry becomes more efficient, safer and more effective in what it does in a day-to-day -day basis. I'd now like to introduce to you my executive team at the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator. My name is Tanya McDonald. I'm the Executive Director of Strategy and Stakeholder Relations at the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator. I'm Ray Hassel. I'm the Executive Director of Regulatory and Legal Services. I'm Jeff Casey. I'm the Executive Director for Productivity and Safety. Peter Caprioli. I'm Executive Director for Network Access. My name is uh, Tony Curtius and I'm the Executive Director of Regulatory Compliance. The NHVR is addressing the challenges to provide a consistent legal and regulatory framework that is consistent throughout the country. I'm responsible for a couple of programs within the office. The uh, legislative maintenance program where we look for opportunities to improve the operation of the law. The notices and statutory instruments program which is the, the tool we use to try and give class-based access to heavy vehicles to move away from permits. Probably the product that most people would interact with most frequently that's produced by my team would be the notices. When the NHVR started, we inherited something like 183 state and territory based access notices. Uh, as of today, we're down to about 60. And of course, the obvious benefit there is fewer permits. Uh, you know, greater awareness of what people are doing, recognition of innovation, good safety, but fewer bits of paper moving around for no obvious purpose. To remove delays and red tape, the NHVR is providing tools to open up the road network and to make it more efficient and easier for businesses to operate. The NHVR is looking at uh, returning the, the permits back, back to the NHVR. Currently um, some jurisdictions have got the function for issuing permits on behalf of the NHVR but we're slowly re returning those um, permit delegations back to the NHVR. And while, while we're returning those delegations we're looking at uh, policies within jurisdictions and how we can harmonise them so we get one consistent approach in terms of how permits are issued across jurisdictions. Um, and also within that we're actually looking at how we can actually reduce the number of permits. So for example, we've just taken South Australia back over um, and having a look at their policies, we're able to reduce about 2,000 permits within that state, state by just having a look at those policies and, how, and seeing where we shift some policies into notices and also combining some policies into, into pre-approval. So that's where, that's where we get the benefits in terms of the NHVR being involved in returning those permit delegations and getting some harmonisation with those as well. Productivity and safety are essential to the transport industry's success. The NHVR is leading the way in a number of programs that bring the most benefits to industry and the community. So I have responsibility for the fatigue unit which is obviously very important in terms of driver fatigue. Uh, the vehicle standards unit, which sets uh, standards associated with roadworthiness for vehicles. The National Heavy Vehicle Accreditation Scheme, which in itself is a, an alternative means of compliance, which enables operators to um, adopt management systems in exchange for which they, they have concessions of work, uh, applied to them. I also have within that a number of um, key projects in our area, including uh, the Electronic Work Diaries project and roadworthiness, and a very important part of our program, particularly as it relates to both productivity and safety, is the performance-based standard scheme, commonly known in the industry as PBS. PBS allows innovative designs to be developed and approved by the regulator which allows us to make sure that we have safer, more efficient vehicles on the road to access the freight tasks that needs to be done. BBS is a world leading strategy and program. It was developed in Australia and continues to lead the world in that regard. An operator who adopts safety management systems will fundamentally meet their responsibilities on the chain of responsibility. We've got new COR laws that are coming in from mid 2018 
there's some significant differences including the introduction of primary duties legislation which is very similar to OH&S legislation. We've actually released a new tool uh, which is the CLR gap analysis tool uh, and that's available on our website and that will help industry actually do self-assessment and understand where they need to focus their attention business by business. This is uh, consistent with the new legislation. It's looking at helping industry identify where their risks are and then that gives them the opportunity to uh, consider how they're going to best uh, meet that risk, alleviate that risk and remove that risk. Uh, there's, a, there's a belief that productivity and safety are, are, uh, are competing interests, whereas they're actually inextricably linked. There's evidence to show that safer operators are also more productive operators. It doesn't matter whether you're a big operator or a small operator. Now, safety management systems are for all. The way in which you implement them is vastly different. If you're a large op operator, you would possibly need complex systems. If you're a small operator, it can be very basic, but you end up with exactly the same safety outcomes. An important part of the NHVR's role is to communicate with and educate industry and the community. Um, a lot of the people in my division who will go out and talk to you every day, I look after marketing and media and communications, I look after the stakeholder team. Um, so these are the people who are developing material support services to help you understand how the heavy vehicle national law impacts on your business on a day-to-day -day basis. What motivates me and is important to me on my job is actually making life easier for people out in the real world. Um, people have businesses to run, they employ people uh, and they need, and importantly we need to keep freight moving from A to B in Australia. So uh, at, on a day-to-day -day basis it's really important to me that we're improving the lives of um, operators in the community on the ground. One of the initiatives that we look after that um, I'm very proud of is the Heavy Vehicle Safety Initiatives. Um, this is a program that the Commonwealth have provided funding for that helps grassroots organisations come up with uh, initiatives on the ground that help improve safety out in the community. Working with law enforcement and regulatory agencies, the NHVR is helping to give heavy vehicle operators a consistent set of requirements no matter what state they are operating in. We, uh, we develop and, and implement and monitor national guidelines and standards and we work with jurisdictions to deliver and develop uh, consistent ways of, uh, of delivering our regulatory compliance services. Also, of course, we've got uh, a number of our authorised officers and our investigators and participating police uh, who also need to be upskilled in this area to understand the implications of the, of the new legislation. And we're working with those parties right now to bring their skills up to speed. And at the end of the day, what we're looking for is safer, more compliant, more productive uh, industry for safety, for the community, for business. The NHVR is helping to build a world-class transport network which is providing benefits for Australia both now and into the future. Our commitment as a regulator is ensure that we continue to bring the community, the broader industry and our road agencies along the way in the journey to improving the productivity and safety of the heavy vehicle industry in Australia.